What time is it, my creatives? It's right. It's photo hacking time, and it is Charlotte Salcedo, your host. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your uh, textures seamless. Now, there's a few different. <laughs> there's not a few different ways. There's a lot of different ways to do this, and I actually have like three programs that I use to uh, make my pattern seamless and I found that the free one works the best and so because everybody loves free stuff we're gonna be using the free uh, product and I'm gonna put a link down in the description below it is a little bit uh, tedious to install it but once you get it installed it's great it's fantastic I'm gonna show you how to use it and then I'm also gonna show you the traditional method of making your texture seamless okay so this texture uh, upon looking at it it looks blurry because it's not zoomed in all the way so if we zoom in 100% you can see the clarity of it but I'm gonna zoom out because we don't need to to do that right now so if we go in here and we look the image size is 12 by 12 300 dpi now, what I found with making seamless textures, for some reason, um, it, uh, it works better 10 by 10 inches. I'm not sure as to why, I guess it's mathematical. So I'm gonna make this 10 by 10, and I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna control A and control C, oopsies, and I'm going to copy and paste that over here. A control C oh you gotta select it to affect it okay so I'm gonna copy and paste that over here and then I'm just going to resize it to fit it into the window like so okay so um I'm gonna show you the first the easiest way with the software and I'm gonna show you how incredibly simple this is so, um, what you want to do is you want to go to Window Extensions and then FX Box. Now, in order to in order to uh, do this, you're going to have to install this, and I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the software that's free to make your pattern seamless, and then also directions on how to install it. Because even for me, I found it a little difficult to install. I'm not going to lie. So, very you need to pay attention to the directions very closely. And um, with YouTube videos, you can always pause and stop if you know and rewind. So that's the great thing with YouTube videos. So if you're having a hard time getting it, you can just rewind it and watch it again. I had to watch it a couple times. It's it's pretty tedious. But what you're going to want to do is that this is F -bo FX Box and it's basically the app. And then what you have to do is you have to load the program into this application. And you're just going to click on it. Now, first you're going to need to know, um, in order to put your dimensions here, you're going to need to know what size you have here and you're going to have to do half of that. So this is 10 by 10 inches. So what is half of 3000? Um, it's 1500, I believe. Yeah, so you would go ahead and use 1500 as your dimensions. Okay, so you will put 1500 in here. And you have a different, a few different options. You can use mirror or you can use tile. Um, if you wanted to tile into your, if you wanted to tile seamlessly, that's what you would choose. Um, if you would want it to mirror, it has a funky effect. I honestly think that when I do um, seamless watercolor textures, this actually is pretty cool. It gives you really varied effects with watercolors, so I like to use mirror with watercolor textures. But for like shiny textures, tile is just as good. So you can go ahead and click tile. I have to select it to affect it. 
and then it's going to do its work on its own. And now it is completely um, seamless. So if you turn it off and you turn it on and it's done some kind of thing where it's like rounded it out and it's as simple as that and then you just file save as and then save it as a JPEG. Um, that's pretty cool. So it's super super simple. It's just like one click making your your um, your patterns. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away and I'm gonna throw this background away too because we don't need that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna unselect the show transform. Now I'm gonna throw this away, um, not throw it away, but click off of it because we're gonna, now we're going to do it traditionally. One thing I wanted to tell you is that, um, here's some tips, some tips and tricks. Um, when you're doing seamless, the only thing that will work is the clone stamp tool. So if you try to use this tool and try to do the seamless, it won't work. I don't know why, but it doesn't work. So that's just one tip for you. So when you are doing your pattern seamless, you want to use the clone stamp tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter to this. Um, so this is the first step in making your patterns seamless. So you're going to go to filter, other and then offset and this is already set to 1500 by 1500 because I have been working in here making seamless patterns so that's why it's like that so you're gonna just press ok and then you're gonna come get the clone stamp tool and you can make it bigger and smaller by using your left and right bracket keys that are next to the P and the enter key. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. Okay, so what you do with the clone stamp tool is that you're going to press the alt for the PC or the option key for Mac and you're going to sample and then just kind of like scrub. Now. You might have to change the settings in here a little bit. Um, I'm going to turn my hardness down a little bit. And that seems to be working a little bit better. And this is really tedious. And this is why I don't really make um, seamless um, Things seamless and I'm gonna get a bigger swatch here because I feel like it's really looking weird with the smaller samples so you're just gonna do that throughout just alt option clicking sampling from another area and then just clicking over the area Oops, I messed up. As you get to the bottom, it likes to like sample too hard with the edges, so be weary of that. And you can just resize your brush as you go. Oopsies. Making it bigger or smaller to your liking. Okay, so, um, that seems to be working out for me and let's go ahead and go to filter other offset again looks like it worked so actually there's a line here so we need to fix that sometimes you have to do it a couple of times to get it you know kosher and let's go ahead and do it one more time to see how that works out. And it looks like it's seamless. So what you would do is you would save it. 
and you can always zoom in to look at the result. Still looks pretty good. The quality, you can check the quality. I always like to check the quality of everything. So before, you know, like you save stuff out and it looks pretty good and you can you can even tell that it was you know manipulated so that is how you make seamless textures um, using the software program and using the other one I didn't do the other two um, applications that I bought because personally for me I find them to be very difficult to use they're not as simple as the FX box and me I personally don't like complicated stuff I don't like things where I have to read like a whole manual so and I know a lot of my users we like you guys also like simple stuff so that's and we also like free stuff so that's why I did the review of the FX box and not the other two programs um, I am going to do a review of the other two programs eventually but this is my tip quick for today. I hope you like it. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a big thumbs up. We are very close to hitting a, a, uh, a goal. And once I hit the goal for this channel, um, a lot of freebies are going to be coming um, your way. Also, trying to get to 10,000 subscribers on Instagram so that way I can offer videos to you guys on Instagram as well so you can watch them. Um, so please go ahead and support my Instagram. It's all of my handles for all my social media is photo hack lovers. So, um, and I'll leave the description in the link below. Thanks so much for watching guys. You guys have a wonderful day and don't stop creating.